Alright, so in this video, uh, what we're going to show, I'm not going to actually remove this ballast from this fluorescent light fixture, but uh, I'm going to show you basically uh, what it looks like, uh, what wires are going to it, and uh, tell you, explain to you how to hook it up. Uh, as you can see here, this is a two lamp, four foot fluorescent strip light. It is a 120 volt two lamp ballast. Um, this is a older style, which is a T12. Uh, it is not electronic. It is uh, a rapid start, regular uh, fluorescent light. Most of the new ones you buy nowadays are going to be electronic ballast. The ballast is going to be probably the same length, but a lot skinnier and not quite as deep. Uh, and they're really, really simple to change out. You just need a few basic tools. Depending on the fixture that you're working on, um, this one here, I've already got the cover removed, but generally there's a, a flat metal cover that goes over here, and on one end there'll be a little uh, silver little turn button, and all you do is you take your pair of side cutters here, and take and spin it 90 degrees and this will come out now obviously always as with any electrical work you want to make sure that your power is turned off and this is a, a rather simple yet inexpensive tool it is a uh, a voltage alert tester uh, I believe this one here this is a fluke brand it costs less than twenty dollars um, and I think you can get them even cheaper than that. But uh, it's got this one here, a particular model. This has a little button on top. Turn it on. And as you can see, it blinks just to let you know that it's on. And when you put it to a power source, it glows red and beeps. Other models may do a little bit different things. Most of them should beep. I don't know. But anyways... Um, after you've removed your cover from your fixture, you're going to want to take and put your tester on your black wire, which is your hot, unless some idiot hooked it up and they hooked it up backwards, but I always test to make sure the power's off. And if it's on a switch, generally it's a good idea just to go ahead and turn the breaker off, because somebody comes along when you're working on it and turns the switch on, well, you're going to get zapped. So... We'll just simulate here that we've done disconnected these two wires, which is our hot and our neutral. And we have two red wires that go to one socket. You have two blue wires that go to one socket. And two yellow wires that will tie to the end sockets. That's your common. And simply to replace a ballast, um, there's... Every ballast comes with a diagram. Now, you may be replacing the old one, may not have a diagram on it. But, basically, you're simply just going to take and cut, after you've turned your power off, you know, cut your wires back fairly close, like this. So you got plenty of slack for when you replace your new one. And you're going to take and cut the two yellow wires. And usually there's a nut on one end and a slot on the other end. Um, if you don't have a nut driver, you can simply just use your side cutting pliers to remove this nut. Which is what I'm going to do, just for demonstration. Once you get it loose, it'll generally come out finger with your fingers. Pull the little ballast out. Now. You're going to restrip the ends of your wires. Um, you're going to want to strip out probably about three-eighths of an inch on every one of these wires. Generally, a new ballast will come and it'll be pre-stripped. If not, no big deal. Strip them out. And you want to use an appropriate size wire nut for the gauge wire, which this is, I think, if I read it here... I think it's like 18 gauge wire and it's solid. So if the ballast to follow your wires match up the same color, just simply twist them back together. It's easy. 
And if uh, if they're different, if I had electronic ballast here and it was different, I could show you. And I probably will do that because this particular fixture right here, it is a, hold on, it is a four lamp fixture. And I had one ballast go out on it. Oh, looks like I had two go out on it. I didn't even notice it. <laughs> anyway, as you can see, you can see these bulbs that are lit are a lot skinnier. That's the difference too I need to tell you about. These here are the new T8 lamps. And they're a lot smaller. They're actually better because they're more efficient. It's like these new curly Q light bulbs you can buy for your incandescent to replace them with the fluorescent. Much better on energy. But I'll show you on another video here. There we go. Got it going. I'll show you on another video. Um what you got to do to replace and put in a uh, electronic when you're replacing it with about uh, uh, with a fixture that had a uh, a T12 in it, the old ballast. So hopefully that gives you a little bit of a uh, insight there. And uh, keep watching my channel. I'm on probably uh, since I got a lot of time on my hands since I got laid off. Probably be doing a bunch more how-to on electrical videos, so uh, thanks for watching.